Central Therm and Z-Flex vent pipes are made specifically for different categories of heating applications. In order to know which pipe you should buy, you first have to understand which of the four categories your heating application falls into. And I'm going to explain that quickly now. The four categories of heating appliance ventilation are made up of whether the machine uses positive or negative pressure and also whether the machine is condensing or non-condensing. All heating appliances ventilate with either positive or negative pressure. Negative pressure is simply natural air currents with no intervention such as a fan. High pressure, which is hot air, rises and low pressure, which is colder air, replaces it. Positive pressure is when high pressure air is moved out of a system by unnatural forces, usually with a fan. Condensing water heaters use combustion gases to heat water in conjunction with the gas burner, rather than venting those gases outside. The heater stays below a certain temperature in order to create condensate, as opposed to heating at very high temperatures. The hot condensate is represented by these swirling bubbles. This makes condensing water heaters more efficient than most other water heaters. They also have a secondary heat exchanger that can reuse exhaust heat to heat the water even better. Non-condensing water heaters vent exhaust gases outside and they burn at a high enough temperature so there is zero condensate left in the system. A non-condensing water heater needs metal venting to manage the extra heat, which would be Z-Flex venting. A chimney is what we normally think of when we think category one. Negative pressure sucks the products of combustion from the appliance breach and deposits them outdoors. The temperature is high enough to avoid condensation in the vent which means it's non-condensing. Category two products are no longer manufactured, but they operated at negative pressure and at a low enough temperature so that condensate would develop in the heat vent. This isn't ideal because heavy gases at the dew point are not buoyant enough to be vented with a negative pressure flow. Category three is any appliance that operates with positive static pressure in the vent and at a temperature that's high enough to avoid condensation in the vent. Due to the high temperature of category three appliances, you should use Z-Flex venting most of the time, but central therm venting is usable if the temperature on your appliance is low enough, but you have to check specifications to make sure. Category three products are direct sidewall vented. Positive pressure requires joints and flue material to be sealed. Because these 80% appliance flue gases are close to the dew point and the vent material is single wall, corrosion resistant materials must be used. Drains are typically incorporated to remove flue condensation before it enters the heat exchanger. Category three has been used to solve insulation problems where no appropriate flue is available. An appliance that operates with positive static pressure in the vent and at a low enough temperature so that condensation forms in the vent is an appliance that falls into category four. In category four, temperatures are low enough to use central therm venting. You can also use stainless steel Z-Flex to avoid corrosion from the condensate. The joints in the flue material again must be sealed because it is a condensing appliance with positive pressure. Now that you know what category your appliance falls into, you're ready to purchase your vent pipe. And if you want to know more information on Z-Flex or Central Therm, you can check out our other video on the specifications.